mercy. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hearken unto my prayer. Give heed, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, our defender, upon the face of thy anointed. For better is it than in one day in thy corpse than a thousand else, elsewhere. I have elected to be an outcast in the house of my God, rather than to dwell in tabernacles of sin. For the Lord God love of mercy and truth, he shall give grace and glory. The Lord shall not deprive of good things, then then walk in innocence, O Lord God of hosts. Blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou wast well pleased, O Lord, with thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the transgression of thy people. Thou hast co covered all their sin. Thou hast calmed by thy wrath. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thy displeasure. Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and turn thy displeasure away from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us forever? Or wilt thou extend thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou shalt turn it, quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I repeat what the Lord God speak, will speak concerning me, for ye shall speak peace to his people, and to his saints, and to them that turn their hearts unto him. Yet is salvation is to them that fear him, that glory may abide in your land. Mercy and truth we met together, righteousness and peace of kiss. Truth has sprung out of the earth, and righteousness shall shone down from heaven. For the Lord shall give goodness, and a land shall give her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and he shall set its steps in the way. Bow down thy name, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Keep my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee I cry, for unto thee I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Thou, Lord, art good and kind, and great in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my tribulation, I cried, I cried unto thee, for thou shalt unto me. There is none like unto thee, man, God's Lord, and there are none like unto thy works. All the nations which thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. Thou art great to work which wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart be glad that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the Lord has risen up against me, and the congregation of mighty men have sought after my soul, and not set thee before them. Thou, O Lord my God, art compassionate and merciful, long suffering and great in mercy and truth. Look upon me and have mercy me, if strengthen to thy child, and save the son of thy handmaid. Work upon me and sign for good that those who hate me may see to be shamed. Thou, Lord, has helped me and comforted me. Work upon me and sign for good that those who hate me may see to be shamed. Thou, Lord, has helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your holy martyrs, Theodotus, and his companions, O Lord, through their sufferings have received incorruptible crowns from you, our God. For having your strength, they laid low their adversaries and shattered the power, powerless boldness of demons. Through their intercessions, save our souls. For the now and ever and to ages of ages, amen. O thou who for our sakes was born of a virgin, and didst endure the crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death by death, and this God didst manifest the resurrection, despise nothing that thou hast fashioned with thy hand, manifest thy love of man, a merciful one, except the Theotokos who bear thee, and who interceded for us, and saved thy despairing people, O our Savior. Forsake us not to the end for thy name's sake, neither do away with thy covenant, nor withdraw thy mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, beloved of thee, and for eyes of thy servant in Israel, thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, the mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, the mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, the mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages, of ages, amen. O holy trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquity, our transgressions, O holy one. Look upon and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. You struggled well, O Thaodotus, together with your fellow athletes and passionate bearing virgins. You have received crowns of honor. Therefore, unceasingly pray to Christ God for us all. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. O thou at all times and every hour both in heaven and on earth of worship and glorified of Christ God, long suffering, a great mercy and goodness of heart, who loves the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who calls all men to, to salvation, tidings of good things to come. But thou the same Lord receive also our prayers and sorrow, direct our lives to thy commandments, and sanctify our souls, cleanse our bodies, direct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, and deliver us from every tribulation, weakness, and affliction. Encompass us by thy holy angels, of God and guided by the host, we may become worthy of the unity of faith, and of the understanding of thine unapproachable glory. We bless with thy the ages of ages, amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious without comparison than the seraphim, without corruption gave us worth to God the word. Verily, Theotokos, we magnify thee in the name of the Lord, blessed Father. God, the Lord, who has blessed us with the light and confidence upon us and be merciful to us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, your God, our long suffering toward our offenses and has hast led us even to this present hour, over which thou hast upon the life creating tree, and has made the way of entry to paradise of the wise thief in my death, the Sabalos death. Lend us sinners and thine unworthy servants, for ye have sinned and transgressed, and we are not worthy to lift, to lift up our sight and look upon the height of heaven. And as much as we have forsaken the way of thy righteousness and walk according to the will of our own, of our own hearts, but we implore of thy incomparable goodness and spur us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercies, and save us for thy holy name, so for days of vanished and vanity, redeem us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive our sins, and mortify our fleshly desires, that in putting off the old man, we may be clothed upon with the new, and may live unto thee, our master and protector, so that following thy ordinances, we may attain unto unceasing rest, wherein is the dwelling place of them that are glad. For thou art in truth and glad us and joy of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and unto thee do we send the glory, together with thy Father, which without beginning the knowledge of the life and spirit, now and ever into ages of ages, amen. Blessed is our God, always now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King, our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord of my soul, Lord my God, thou art become exceeding great. With confession, with majesty, art thou clothed. Let's robe thyself with lights with a garment, who spread the heaven like a curtain, who covered with waters his upper rooms, who does fix the clouds for his chariot, who walk upon the wings of the wind, who makes his angel spirits in the surface of flaming fire. Who found the earth upon its firmness, it should not be bowed down forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is thrown upon the mountains, so stand the, shall stand the water. At thy rebuke, they shall flee, the voice of thy thunder, they shall be afraid. The mountains go up in the plains to towns, the place which thou hast found it for them. Thou hast set a boundary, they shall not pass, neither return, neither return to cover the earth. 
which sends forth fountains into the valleys, among the mountains so the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses shall wait in their thirst. Over them shall the birds of the heavens have their habitation, for the midst of the rocks shall, shall, shall they give forth their voices. And if thou waterest the mountain for thy macaroons, with the fruit of thy works, it is earth is sated, making grass grow for the cattle, and the green herb for the service of men, that thou mayest bring bread out of the earth, and wine that gladdeneth the hearted man, that make his face cheerful with oil, and bread that strengtheneth man's heart. The trees, the plain shall be sated, the cedars of Lebanon which he hath planted. There the spurs shall make their nest of dwelling there, and proceed it thin. The high mountains for the heart, the rocks of refuge for the conies. He made the moon for six seasons. The sun hath known its setting, that it set the darkness and became night. And then sure and all the beasts of the forest, the young and lions roaring after the prey, and seeking to gather meat. The sun hath risen, and they have gathered together, and in their dens shall they lay them down. Man shall go forth through his work and through his labor into the evening. How great are thy works become, O Lord, and whose mass will make them all. The earth is full of thy creation, this the sea great and wide, their creeping things creeping things without number, animals most small and great, there the ships go across, and their serpent thou born to play in it. All wait upon thee to give them, to give them their food in due season, when thou givest them they shall gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled, thou takest away their spirit. They shall vanish into their dust, shall they return. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. And the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord should be glad in his works, who look down upon the earth, and make the theater tremble. Who touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord in my life, I will sing songs to my God, as long as I shall be. Let my conversation please him, I should be glad in the Lord. That sin is vanished from the earth. And transgressions, so that they shall be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun of the known and setting that has set the darkness to begin night. How great are thy works to come, O oh Lord, and with some has made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O oh God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O oh God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O oh God. <coughs> Blessed and glorious Lady, hail to all the most and ever Virgin Mary and all the saints, 
Let us commend ourselves and each other in the love unto Christ our Lord. For unto the earth, Lord, glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now with ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Set a watch on the Lord upon my mouth, and a gate of enclosure upon my lips, incline not my heart to words of evil, to contrive excuses for sins with men that work iniquity, and I shall not join with your elect. The righteous man shall correct me, mercy and reproach me, for the oil of the sinner shall not anoint my head. For my prayers will cast their passion, the judges are swallowed up among the stones. They shall hear my words that are prevailed, as clouds are visited, broken in one ear, as they are going to scatter in the brink of hell. To thee, O Lord, Lord, I turn mine eyes and thee I hope, and that away my soul. Keep me from the snare which they they through, and from the pitfalls of the workers of iniquity. That sinners fall into their own neck, whose tie alone shall pass. With my voice have I cried to the Lord, with my voice have I prayed to the Lord. I pour forth my prayer before him, and before him I declare my sorrow. With my spirit departed from me, thou meanest all my paths. In this way where I was walking, it did a snare for me. I looked to the right and I saw there was none between me. A way of escape failed to me, and there is none the secret to my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, and set thou art my hope, my portion in the land of the living. I come to my prayer, for I am exceeding humble. The living me to my persecuting, for they have become stronger than I. Leave forth my soul from prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous awake me, thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths I cry to me, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. But I need to be to the voice of my supplication. Thou, Lord, speak not to my confidence, Lord, with its hand. But there is forgiveness with thee. Moses saw him who is on the fiery mountain. I know the Spirit has come down from the Lord. Take I wait for thee, O Lord. My soul's waited for thy word, my soul's hope in the Lord. Many divine preachers destroy the doubling of the godless orators, consuming the vanity by the Spirit's fire. He came down to baptize them with fiery tongues. Through them we are then enlightened in the saving waters, and in thee confess the comfort. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch let Israel hope on the Lord. 
mercy be upon us, O Lord, as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, is forever. Despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth the hymn, to thee belongeth glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. 
and the holy evening may be perfectly holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Granted, the Lord. Lord. He's a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Granted, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. All good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. The remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Our life painless, blameless, and peaceful. And the good events for the bread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, fail to those and ever virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to the Spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To the Lord. O Lord our God, who didst bow the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind. Look upon thy servants and thine inheritance, for unto thee the fearful judge and lovest mankind. Have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy, and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Spring, welling forth in express. 
Blessedly and unending river of goodness in thy streams, whom by thy nature dost ever for one time and given life. What in the life thirsting soul set me free from the furnace that burneth with the flames of the passions, and in this wise redeem me from the fearful tribulation and dreadful torment found in that fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Are ye faithful? Let us bless the great and noble martyr Theodore as his meat. As the namesake of God's gifts and the heir of his blessedness, the champion of the world, for he entreateth Christ God on behalf of our souls. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. When thou didst send thy spirit, on the waiting apostles, O Lord, thy Hebrews were amazed at the wonder, for they heard them speak in foreign tongues, which the Spirit gave. They were common people, but thou madest them wise. And as they proclaim the things of God, they got the nations for the life of faith. Therefore we also cry aloud to thee, O Lord, who didst appear on earth and save us from error, glory to thee. Lord, now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy one, look down upon and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and of the way of Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To the innocent with the King of heaven. Revealed the fisherman as most wise, 
Thus ending down upon them the Holy Spirit. Through them thou didst draw the world into thy net. O Mother of men, glory to thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness. We pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for this, we have to do our men to pause and see God, for his eminence are our church of Alexander, and for all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for this country, the president, for all the civil authorities, and for those serving in its armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this Holy Church. We pray especially for the servants of God, the child group, Dimitri, Camilo, Greg, Samir, and Robert, for all of our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox and part of this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, the Mother Galina, and the Mother Jesus, and the priest David, Subdeacon Mary, Adele, Sally, Donald and his family, Ethan and Alex, and the infant Philip, Kate and Andre, the child, Luke and the newborn child, Anna, Abigail and Richard and their unborn child, Vera, Shania, Robert, Charlene, Nina, Joseph, Elizabeth, Christina, Clayton, Mary, Jason, Igor, Irina, Daria, Artyom, Volta, Yulia, Evgenia, Elia, Victoria, Tatiana, Olga, Irina, Irina, Yuri, Galina, Lillian, Maria, Lois, Michael, Brian, Anne, Wayne, Judy, Larry, Ryan, Parker, Svieta, Spencer, Sam, Phyllis, Allison, Lorianne, Lynn Marie, the suffering Christians in the Middle East, <coughs> all the people of Ukraine and Russia and for peace, for the Catechumens, Jan, Nikki, Chris, Heath, and Max. For the servants of God, Jude, the priest David, the Matushka, Natalia, Paul, and Irina. For all of our, for the brethren of this holy temple, those who they have in mind, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. from their midst all hostility, confusion, and hatred. Lead everyone along the path of reconciliation and peace. We pray to hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the people of Ukraine and Russia be granted the wisdom, mutual respect, and love, which will protect them from violence and preserve them in peace. We pray thee hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art the merciful God who lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless be Christ our God, he who is always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
Archbishop of Mira Iglesia, of St. Anthony the Great, Family Patron, <coughs> of this Holy Temple, of the Holy Saints, the Great Martyr, Theodore the Commander, transfer of whose relics you commemorate on this day, and of our Father, St. John of Kronstadt, whose glorification we commemorate on this day, and of the Holy Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Our Lord, the most blessed deacon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada. Our Lord, the most reverend Alexander, Archbishop of Dallas and the South. Is God protected love and in civil authorities? The clergy and faithful of this holy temple and all Orthodox Christians preserve the Lord for many years. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. I commemorate one of the Theodore soldier saints, Theodore the general and the commander. Sometimes you hear the title of the facility, which is a Greek transliteration, Theodore Stratonatus, and say, uh, a commander of the pagan armies uh, who was known, as many generals were, for not only fighting in battles, but like St. George, uh, the trophy bearer, he was known to have gone to a particular, the, the area that he lived in and had rid them of uh, a sort of beast, uh, the accounts differ, but a, a sort of beast or a monster that uh, sort of terrorized the countryside. He was known not only for this, but for military exploits, but he was a Christian, and his, uh, the emperor, the prefect of that area, began one of the waves of persecution within the, the time of the Roman Empire. Those first 325 years of Christianity, more or less, this is what they were marked by. 300 years of the Christian church almost were marked by these periodic waves of persecution. And you know, Theodore being a, an influential, prominent member of the society, the emperor tried to get in good with him, to talk some sense into him, and said, you know, this, this won't look good to get rid of one of my own generals. I can't convince one of my own generals. Now, come on, see to it clearly. Come with me, offer here at the idols in the temple, offer the incense, and Theodore uh, went along with it, goes into the temple, and then immediately begins to topple these gold and silver idols, breaking them into pieces, uh, 
with, with what if it was a sword or what it would be, but taking the valuable pieces, he distributed them to the poor. And of course, this uh, incensed the, the prefect who began to submit him to great tortures. Now, it's interesting that on the one hand, uh, he himself went in and boldly and valiantly made a spectacle of these idols. It was something very dramatic, but when Christians apparently sought to rise up and forbid this from happening, you must not torture him, you will not take him, we will rise up and resist this persecution, he says no. And he pushed them away, much like St. Ignatius of Antioch had done about 150 years prior. I said, don't forbid me. The Lord Jesus Christ went to his cross and could have called legions of angels down, but he forbade it so that the will of God could be done. Don't forbid this. He understood that his death was a witness, a martyria. It's what martyr is, a witness. That's what that word means. It was going bear witness. And indeed, it was one of these uh, examples where they submitted to various tortures. An angel of the Lord comes that evening and heals him miraculously of all of his wounds. The guards come. They see that this man is now up, walking around. Wounds are gone. Lacerations and, 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 and all of this are, are miraculously vanished. And some of them wound up asking for baptism at that moment. For they recognized the God of St. Theodore. But finally, uh, he was beheaded. And his relics, this is actually the day of the commemoration of the transfer of his relics, when the Christians finally got their hands on them. He was beheaded in, on February 8th, I believe is the, the, the date. And then on June 8th, a few months later, his relics were gathered and brought to be cherished, eventually church, a church would be built on his, the, the place of his relics, and they would be kept there in high veneration of the church until this day. But all of this is very you know, dramatic and, 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 uh, and, and very uh, interesting, very tantalizing. It can be very spectacular. And we 21st century Westerners, we love us a spectacle. We love what will be flashy and draw attention to ourselves. This will be a great podcast. This will be a great sound bite. This will look really flashy, you know, in my social media feed. These kinds of the things that we like. Get attention. Look at this. Look what God is doing, supposedly. But St. Theodore knew what the actual was. It wasn't triumphantly bashing these icons because the work there was giving to the poor. It wasn't some armed resistance that would topple an earthly government through Christians rising up with pitchforks or torches, whatever. But it was allowing for helplessness to prevail, for allowing vulnerability to have its way, even to the point of death. And it's very interesting to me that this happened in the year 319. If you know your history, six short years later, the persecutions would come to an end. We're tempted to go, oh, he almost made it. He almost made it. What a tragedy to have to undergo all of that suffering and all of that torture and all of that pain and all of that humiliation. And it's he almost made it. And then the, uh, if you've ever seen Life is Beautiful, the man dies and then immediately come the tanks to liberate the concentration camp. It's a painful moment. And we sort of think, ah, oh, if he could have just waited or, or hid out, why did God have to make it so that he had to die right there? Couldn't he have spared his holy one? But this isn't the way that God works, always. Sometimes he does. But sometimes people are called to bear witness in moments that seem to be the most 
ironic or anguishing moments, and yet God is glorified. And we bear witness today to remember his relics. Because relics, if you've ever seen some relics that we have up here that we bring out on certain saints' days, they're not doing anything. They are part of a body that has ceased to be animated and moved. And so this is a, uh, a way where silence and weakness and vulnerability have their uh, final triumph because it's no longer about what that person in his own life and under his own power can do. He's weak and dead, at least according to this world. But the Holy Spirit still works, still moves, and even in this supposedly inanimate object, this peace of a saint, the victory of Christ over death remains. <clears throat> and so let us remember this. When we feel helpless, when we feel powerless, when we feel ridiculous at following Christ, at submitting ourselves to his rule, when we are tempted to despair because, I mean, what is the use? This is when we remember our saints and the turmoil that they endured Sometimes, as we said, just at the point where they wouldn't need to anymore. And yet their trust was in God. And yet their hope was still in God. And even if it came up to the very last moment, they would trust him. Even if it meant their lives, they would trust him. Because they did not let go of the reality that whether in life or in death, we are the Lord's. We belong to the Lord. We are His. So let us, in our moments of triumph and our moments of uh, despondency and disappointment, remember the presence of God which is ever with us and which, if we submit the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts, and the works of our hands to him. Nothing that we do in obedience to him is ever forgotten or ever in vain. It's never so quotidian, never so mundane or everyday that it won't echo into eternity. May we continue one day at a time, one prayer at a time, one small act of charity at a time, submit our lives to the God who fills all things and brings even the lowliest, lowliest of his saints to himself. To our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, be all glory, honor, and worship, together with his Father who has no beginning, and the all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thank you all. We'll have the uh, veneration of the icon and the cross. Uh, we'll start at 8 p.m. our uh, first catechism class, so roughly in about 10 minutes. <coughs> we'll start our uh, class uh, to begin this round of catechism. Uh, anyone, of course, is welcome to stay. And uh, then, uh, God willing, this weekend we'll meet again for uh, the dominical cycle of Vespers on Saturday and Divine Liturgy on Sunday. May God bless you and grant you all a peaceful and undisturbed evening. Glory to Jesus Christ. Christ is in our midst. In this worship. Christ is in our midst. Christ is in our midst. He is in our side. Christ is in our midst. Christ is in our midst. God bless. Christ is in our midst.
Bless you. So Christ is in our midst. God bless you. Christ is in our midst. He is in every child.